Mail call. Mail call from our diecast homie, Eric, over at Going Diecast. Went to the mailbox. This is a surprise package. I had no idea it was coming. Stay tuned to see what is in the box. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Live or Diecast. How's everybody doing? I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in to today's episode. This is a mail call video, and it is brought to us by a good buddy over at Going Diecast, Eric, spreading some happiness. Went to the mailbox this afternoon, opened the mailbox up, saw a box. I wasn't expecting anything, pulled it out. The first thing I saw was spreading some happiness, and then I saw the Hot Wheels stickers, and the first thing that came to my head was, I'm not expecting anything. What a surprise. So, Going Diecast, Eric, Thank you so much. You made my day. I have no idea what is in this box. Um, wasn't expecting anything, so it's a total surprise to me. And I'm going to open it with you all so you all can see what is in here as well. I want to take a quick second and give a huge, huge shout out from Missouri all the way to Mustang Hunter. Mustang Hunter Diecast. It's his birthday today. If you haven't, please go over to his page, his channel. Um, and wish him a very, very happy birthday. Um, as you all know, he is in our armed forces, um, does great things for our country to give us the freedom and rights to do what we do daily. So Mustang Hunter, thank you very much for what you do and happy birthday from me, Dirty Murray over at Live or Die Cast. Let's get to the package. Again, I have no idea what is in here. He's spreading some happiness. If you have not checked out Going Diecast, please do. I do subscribe to his channel. Um, he does not have a lot of subscribers. He has some awesome content, some awesome editing in his videos. Seems like a wonderful, wonderful guy in the community. Please, if you're watching this, go over to Going Diecast and show him some love. Tell him Brandon Dirty Murray over at Liver Diecast sent you. I think you will enjoy his content and his videos. Um, I believe he is upgrading his Hot Wheels room at the moment, um, so stick around, stay tuned for that. Uh, I can't wait to see the unveiling and see what you come up with. It's always cool seeing everybody's, you know, diecast rooms, offices, how they set it up differently than everybody else. That's the awesome thing about diecast. Everybody collects different stuff, and everyone sets their rooms up differently. If we all did it the same, it would be pretty boring, right? So I'm glad everyone's different. Everyone's into different stuff. Everyone sets up the rooms different. It's exciting and it's something to look at. You know, you all can see my background used to be die cast cars, but now it's just a, a Hot Wheels sheet back there. Um, trying to give some something other than just a white wall. As you all know, my die cast room is, is, is in storage at my grandpa's house at the moment. And uh, I'm currently Hopefully here within the next few months, I'll be getting my son and I into our permanent residence, get us a little house, I'll be able to fix some, fix some things up, paint the walls, and I cannot wait, wait, to start on my die cast room. Of course, it will come last. I wanna get my son's room set up, and of course, you know, the living quarters and all that stuff, but eventually I will get my die cast room back up, the racetrack set back up, and, and hopefully, um, kick off with some exciting stuff for you all to look at in the background of my video. So I won't keep you any longer. Without further ado, let's get to this package and see what's in here. I'm excited. Like I said, I have no idea what's in here. Eric over at Going Diecast, thank you so much. You have no idea um, what this means to me for you to take the time, the money, the effort uh, to send this out to me. And this is just an act of kindness. Like I said, I had no idea this was coming. I have no idea what is in here. But I want to thank you. I'm, I appreciate you taking the time, the money, the effort to pack this, to send it to the, to go to the post office and send it to me all the way here in Missouri. I can't thank you enough. And I will tell you, I'm excited. So right off the bat, we've got some Hot Wheels stickers. 
which who doesn't love Hot Wheels stickers, right? There's that one. Here's a monster truck Hot Wheels sticker. The Bone Shaker. Shout out to my homie Eric over at King Nut Diecast. Not to be mistaken with Eric at Going Diecast. I gotta keep all this stuff straight. Look at that blown engine sticking out of the hood of that thing. That is sweet. And then there's a Team Hot Wheels sticker. Thank you. Right off the bat, I see a letter here. Brandon, just a little something to show my appreciation and support of you and your channel. Thank you greatly. You're a great ambassador for the community and even better role model for your son. Oh man, thank you very much, man. Keep up the great videos, respectfully. Eric at Going Diecast. Thanks, man. I try, you know, uh, I, I grew up with a dad in my life, but I'll tell you, just real short, uh, my dad wasn't a big part of my life. My dad was a big partier. He liked to go out with his buddies, stay out till two or three o'clock in the morning, um, do wild, crazy things, get arrested, end up in jail. Um, he was a great friend, but I won't say he was a great dad or role model for me. So my dad taught me a lot of stuff. How can I say this? He taught me a lot of lessons without actually knowing he was teaching them to me. And one of those things was how to be a better dad to my son. Um, I, I so wanted for my dad to give me his undivided attention so many times and, he, and it just wasn't there. Um, he was, you know, he had more important stuff to do. And of course, um, now it was 23 days before my 16th birthday. He was involved in a car, tr car crash and took his life and he was gone. And uh, just like that, you know, one day he was here, the next he was gone. And so I want to make sure that um, if anything happens to me, my son knows that I loved him and I did what I could to be there for him and give him that undivided attention that he deserves. So, you know, I won't talk about that anymore, but it's important to me to be a good dad to my kids. Um, it, re it really is. It's, it's important and I try to take pride in it. All right, so I can kind of see what's peeking through here, man, and I'm stoked because I've been looking for this thing for months. I have found a few, um, here, let me pull this out of here before I spoil what it is. I think I might have mentioned on a video before that I was looking for this and I never did come across it. You all know that, oh, it's been probably a couple weeks ago, my son and I took a road trip and, uh, went to a Walmart in another town about 30 minutes away from Columbia and we scored a monster truck treasure hunt. And it was the uh, Oscar Mayer Wiener monster truck treasure hunt, the burnt the, with the grill marks. Cause you know that the one without the grill marks is not the treasure hunt. The one with the grill marks is the treasure hunt. So Eric from going Diecast, and I'll be honest with you, this is probably out of all the ones that I have, or have been released, this is probably my favorite one. And now I've got it. Check this out, you guys. The Roger Dodger Monster Truck Treasure Hunt. The trademark red line tires. You got the treasure hunt symbol on the back of the card right here. And you have got the treasure hunt symbol on that front fender right there. Look at the chrome engine sticking out of the hood. The chrome wheels, the purple, the purple paint. This thing is hot. I have only seen this in pictures and I, and I really, really liked it. I was a huge fan of it. But now that I'm actually holding it in my hand, dude, this thing is sweet. It's fire, dude. I like the flames on top of it. Check that out. Try to get the glare off of there. But that purple paint is sick. I love it. I like the red line tires. I like the purple paint. The fact that it is a treasure hunt. You all know I'm a huge treasure hunt collector. Supers, treasure hunt, chases. That's what I'm into. That's my thing. And that's what's cool about this hobby. Everybody's into something different. When I first started, you know, I collected quantity. I wanted to get as many castings in my collection as I could. I wanted to fill my walls and my pegs up so it looked full and 
And then after I sat in my room for so long and looking at stuff, a lot of the stuff that I had in my collection, I wasn't really even interested in. It didn't really excite me. So I went through, cleared some stuff out, gave a bunch of cars away. Uh, Mark over at Dotson Man Diecast, he did a huge uh, donation for Children's Hospital last year. Um, and I donated a bunch of cars to that. And then I, you know, I sold some for like a buck, anywhere from 50 cents to a buck a piece and just cleared them out. And then I took that money and bought a couple of cars that I wanted to add to my collection that were quantity instead of quality. So that's now what I'm trying to do is just build my collection around. There will probably be some main lines that I, I really like and I'll get, but mostly I want to build a collection that's based on supers, treasure hunts, and chase cars. And, and not just uh, Hot Wheels, Auto World, Johnny Lightning, M2, um, stuff like that. But Eric, Dude, I'm stoked. I can't thank you enough. Most importantly, for the kind words in this letter about being a good dad, man. I, you know, that means a lot to me because being a good dad is important to me. I'll keep this letter forever. I'll put it with all my other ones. Um, they mean the world to me as well. The, the fact that you took the time to hand write a letter and send it to me, it excites me almost as much as this beautiful, beautiful thing I'm holding right here. This thing is sick, you guys. And I'm so glad to have this in the collection. I really am. Eric, going diecast. Thank you so much, man, from the bottom of my heart. Much appreciated. I can't thank you enough for taking the time to send this to me um, and just thinking about me. You know, the fact that you took the time to think about me whether you watched my videos, you heard that I was after this and never could find it, and the effort that you put into packing this, sending it to me, paying for the shipping, paying for the toy, and I, and I was who you thought of to send it to. I can't thank you enough. I really can't. It's much appreciated. The Hot Wheels community is the best. Like I said, I've been, I'm a part of, of different communities, uh, knife collecting, uh, guns, baseball cards, or sports cards, I should say. And by far, it's not even close. It's not even a close second runner up. By far, the diecast community is the best community that I am a part of. Uh, the friendships I've made along the way, the people I have spoke to, the conversations, the interaction with my channel um, is just unbelievable. It really is. Uh, when I started this channel, I really didn't think about I thought about the friendships I could possibly make, but I really didn't think about how many I could make. And I have made a lot, lot of awesome friendships, struck up some awesome conversations with some wonderful people in this community. Like I said, if you have not checked out Going Diecast, please do go over to his channel, show him some love, tell him Dirty Murray sent you from live or die cast i know this is backwards because it's like the mirror image thing everything's backwards so anyways thank you for the stickers i'll keep those when i get into my off my new office i will find a place for those to go um i want to thank each and every one of you for watching this video supporting live or die cast without you wouldn't be here doing this so thanks again from live or die cast and dirty murray eric going die cast Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Until next time, this has been Live or Die Cast. Oh, and one more thing. Friendliness is free. Friendliness is free. Spreading happiness is free. Let's spread it like wildfire, you guys. That's it for me. I'm out. Until next time, see ya.